barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Oh, man, D.C. was fun, man. Great times. All right, I want to talk about something really quick. It's just a, I hadn't had time to do no commentary videos covering the fight this weekend. And it's just an extension of what I talked about Friday. Um, you know, I was thinking, I was looking at the dates, right? And I saw con I saw the Jacobs fight on DAZN is in May. And then I saw uh, um, um, uh, the big baby Miller, Anthony Joshua, June 1st. And then it clicked in my head. The 1999 that they raised it. These fights are on pay-per-view. And they know it. They know that people just want to come to watch the Jacobs fight and also the uh, Big Baby Miller Anthony Joshua fight. You know, it's just uh, and and I remember uh, a black fight fan posted that um, Eddie Hearn says that um, he didn't say pay per view was dead, and the reason why is because they knew intelligent people like me who's. Um, uh, disseminate information to other intelligent people, you know, because some of y'all just don't have the time that I have because I, I really focus on boxing every goddamn day. And you guys go on with your lives and I and I give you guys the cliff note version, which is, you know, what most YouTube channels do or media outlets do. And the fact of the matter is the Jacobs fight and the Joshua Big Baby Miller fight is on pay-per-view. Because by default, by accident, by coincidence, by great coincidence, June 1st is a new month and a new um, uh, payment sheet, a, a, a new payment month, you know. And uh, I don't know if it was by accident or on purpose or, you know, sometimes things work out to your advantage or sometimes things work out to your disadvantage. And I don't know if it was, this was intentionally planned by them. I know the price hike was intentionally planned. Because they they knew at some point they would have to raise the prices to to come close to breaking even if if they could you know and, and I think a twenty dollar price point is extreme for America given that ESPN is only five dollars and they already have three million subscribers and they're in our American psyche every goddamn day twenty four hours a day ESPN never goes off and they have a driving mechanism which is on TV every day you know. The ESPN top 10 goes viral every night. So it's, it's, it's just going to be stellar competition against that. It, 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 it's like we have so many search engines, right? But if when, when you want to look up something, you say Google it, right? Same thing, right? No matter what Google engine you use, whether you use Yahoo or whatever the case may be, you use the term Google or like Lyft and Uber. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a Uber um, uh, app. But I always say, I'm, I'm going to just catch an Uber when, when, in fact, I only have a Lyft on my phone. You get what I'm saying? So so at the end of the day, I I say this. They have cleverly, cleverly ambushed and conned the American public and led them to believe that their fights aren't on pay-per-view. Now, from a pragmatic standpoint, it's pay-per-view. The cost may be different, you know, but at the end of the day, you guys will be paying $40 for two fights. And you guys will say, well, that's a wow. That's a deal. Relatively speaking, that's a deal. I would agree with you. I'm not going to sit here and say uh, in comparison to a, let's say, I would say the Jacobs fight will be 89 and 99. You know, they have 89 regular, 99 HD. No, realistically, it would be 79 and 89, you know, so uh, it would be 79 regular, 89 HD. That would be the cost for that fight, right? And so you're saving, um, let's see, turn this red. You're saving 70, you have a 75% savings, right, per se, right, if you buy the regular one, right? But at the end of the day, it's a pay-per-view model. No one can, someone's going to get on here and refute that. If someone goes on in my comment session and refutes it, you're the biggest fool on earth. 
I need to I need to sell you some common sense <laughs> because it is a pay-per-view model at the end of the day. And I may I, I'm not saying I'm a proponent of the zone, but I like competition. It's a free marketplace. I'm not in this to bash the zone and want them to go out of business. I just think the leader that's 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 clippering their ship, which is Eddie Hearn, is not great for this market. And First, you say pay per view is dead. When he got on the when he got on the DS with Oscar, when they announced the Canelo and something deal, or no, the uh, the uh, when he fought in December, they was building up that fight. I don't even know who the guy lost. Fought, you know. Um, they was pumping that fight up. They said pay per view is dead, and and he concurred with them, and now he said pay per view isn't dead because he knows. We're going to disseminate information and break down the truth. The zone is a pay-per-view model. Jacobs Canelo, Joshua Miller is a pay-per-view fight. What they should be saying in addition to that is it's not location-based. You don't need a TV. I don't know why they're not. I'm 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 sorry. I'm not even gonna give them informa information, but they just do some of the most. The zone, from a marketing standpoint, is terrible. It's terrible. It's like one of the worst. Like just from an accent perspective, Eddie Hearn don't make sense in America. From a logistics understanding the American market. Eddie Hearn don't make sense in America. From a business standpoint, he doesn't make sense in America because he he's not believable. He's not honest, you know. And the Zone made a huge error. They shouldn't have came out this year. They should have been promoting the Zone all year in unattached in attached cards, but the Zone as a co-promoter. That's what they should have did. And funneled money to these promoters and then came out. But, you know, I, I don't, I'm not the smartest guy. I, I'm definitely not the, the most red apple that's fallen from the tree. So, but they should attach themselves with some promoters, by coastal, inland, mainland, beach cities, whatever the case may be. But, anyways, the point I'm making in this video is that these two fights are pay per view fights. And you guys may think it's a deal. And just to compare prices just on a pay-per-view event, yeah, it makes sense. But you're going to be paying $20. What they want you to do is pay $20 five or six times a month. Um, and you only come and go for the fights. And if that's the case, they win. So that's probably like a – so you're looking anywhere between 100 to 120 let's say between five and six five and six fights because you got to keep in mind joshua's gonna fight twice canelo's gonna fight twice that's four fights right there so that's 80 dollars, right they want you to go and come back so that's why they raise the prices amongst other things they're in the red so but anyways i don't really care too much about that but i'm just going to reiterate and make it as plain as day for you canelo triple g anthony joshua big baby miller are pay-per-view fights in america all right. They need to start make. Oh, man. Anyways, they have taken so many of my ideas. I'm not giving them no more. So anyways, barbershop conversation. They're going to have to give me a consulting free. I need a quarter million dollars for consulting free. I, barbershop conversations. Talk to you guys real soon. I'll have peace.